What's up Netflix fans? Welcome back to the channel. For today's video, I'll be talking about something experimental. This one is a found footage crime drama miniseries from Netflix called Dealer or its French title, Kate. Hopefully I pronounced that right. This one is created by Ange Basterga and Nicolas Lopez and it stars Sebastian Hubani as Frank. He is a music video director who is assigned by this record label company to shoot a music video for this aspiring rap artist named Tony played by Abjamani Dayakiri who is also a former ex-convict but what he doesn't know is this guy resumed his former job which is being a drug lord so he gets caught up with this bloody gang war and in the process he finds this a strange opportunity to shoot something raw now before i continue with this review why don't you guys please share your support to the channel by hitting that like button and subscribing to us for weekly reviews of movies and tv shows please don't forget that like button because that really helps with our stats and also comment down below what you think about this show okay now back to the review of uh, found footage genre i think this type of filmmaking is commonly used for thrillers though i actually find it more used on horror thrillers so it's rarely used on action thrillers like this now i have to say this type of filmmaking is not exactly my favorite because sometimes i get nauseous with all the handheld cameras and there's some pros and cons for sure to this type of filmmaking for one the pro is if employed right you can definitely create that atmospheric and moody feel that you want in your film uh on the con side maybe sometimes uh uh, the plot could be spare and you know character development is not really the forefront in these types of filmmaking because characters keep coming in and out but you know this show i did not expect that this will ha only have 10 minutes bite-sized episodes actually 10 or 15 minutes i think there's only one episode of 15 minutes this is a pretty quick binge the energy was always there the focus was always there and i'm not talking about non-stop action i'm talking about more of the tension because you will be thrust in the underbelly of the french gang lords and gang fights a lot of shootouts here and then they shot this very realistically the tone was always grounded and the pacing is quick everything's happening fast though you might be disappointed on the first few episodes where nothing much is happening but personally for me it's not a complete waste of time because they're setting up character arcs as for the execution here i love that they maintain the grittiness of the whole show uh they're not really using much of the shaky cams because there are some body cams strapped to their chest and it helps that frank here actually has a body cameraman named thomas so for the most part you're gonna get two angles from each scene and sometimes as the show went on the one who's holding the camera is a different person so you can get more dynamic shots sometimes it gets on a complete first person shooter game like i was reminded of this russian action film called hardcore henry and it's a quite a nice observation because you know video games nowadays they try to be more cinematic and it's rare for these movies or shows to emulate the video game aspect so you're gonna get a lot of chase and shoot out scenes on a first person perspective so i think gamers will get a kick out of this though there are times that i think that the show can't keep up with its ambition because it keeps pulling away from the, its handheld cameras sometimes it almost feels like the scene was shot normally you know and then there are some cuts here and there though it can be artistic choice to some one can think that they can't really do a continuous shot that's why they have to cut it but i really have to give credit here for the directors of this show which i think are also the creators that i mentioned earlier because it's really tough doing this filmmaking because for most of the part you will also have to run along with your characters and speaking of characters our two main characters here are frank and tony touching first on tony i think it's cool that the show introduced him first as this stereotypical drug lord but as the show progressed on we are get to introduce to his family and friends you know that there's more to what he does other than peddling drugs and pointing guns at people which we're gonna get most of it but you know it's nice that we're gonna get some insight for this character that he's a rapper who wants to make it the music scene but at the same time this game of drug dealing keeps pulling him back you know so there's a push and pull to his conflict and then here frank uh, he's a music video director who's tired of doing music videos. He secretly wants to be a Warzone journalist and this is the closest thing that he's gonna get. So it's quite thrilling to see him, you know, put his life on the line just to 
keep up with his ambitions and I partly wish that they got more scenes with his buddy Thomas here because you'll get more of an insight of why they are actually still doing this and I think there's some sort of a meta commentary here because there's some conversations between Frank and his record label producer that the record label producer want to see more some shocking footage and part of me also wanted that and I think that speaks to some sort of a meta commentary on how the audiences wanted this voyeuristic violence you know uh, though i wish that they addressed that more of that theme because they kind of abandoned that theme towards the end and you know just because the ending is just so abrupt some might find it underwhelming i think there's a potential that they're setting it up for a second season i'm not entirely sure but overall for a first person crime thriller i think this is already greatly shot it's just that I'm more of a story kind of guy so I found the plot to be a bit dense and I just wish that they continue to live up with that initial ambition that they set up early on. It gets violent but the gore is not too icky for some of the sensitive viewers out there. Overall this show runs for just more than an hour so I think this won't be a complete waste of time if you want to be distracted by this experimental series go see this and if you're going to see this go see this in one sitting just like i did because i think some of the episodes are a bit too dense to make a complete impact on you so i'm going to give this show a three out of five stars and that's it for my review of the netflix found footage crime thriller dealer let me know what you think in the comment sections down below also if you enjoyed watching this video please give me a like and subscribe to us for weekly content thank you so much guys for watching until then see you on the next one